okay <coughs> since you know how the deposits are working for BIP20 tokens and ERC20 tokens and TRC20 tokens let me explain what the exchange does underneath to communicate with the blockchain now <coughs> on the previous videos I showed you how and where you put the RPC URLs okay now let's go to settings and general and then cron setup settings general cron setup this is the same exactly the same for exchange with EVM and exchange without EVM they are essentially at the same place <sighs> alright as you can see it has been set we are here at settings general cron setup and ERC20 ERC20 BIP20 TRC20 token deposit cron it has been set to 1 which means whatever this job does it does that once every minute okay it does that once every minute now let me tell you how the exchange looks for new deposits okay so let me So you have all been to the BSC scan, right? This is the website bscscan.com. Scroll down and look click on view all blocks. All right. Just have a look at this. A block was created 7 seconds ago another block was created 10 seconds ago another block was created 13 seconds ago another block was created 16 seconds ago what are these? <coughs> all the transactions that happen on these network the BIP20, ERC20 and TRC20 these transactions they are uh, they are made into a group they are formed into a group let's assume that uh, maybe 100 transactions when about a total of 100 transactions uh, uh, are may, uh, could be more than 100 this is in the uh, after 100 transactions uh, they are converted into a block they are converted into a block uh, they can be called a block of transactions so every single block that you see here I see here 3020 3019 3018 3017, 3016. Every single of these blocks contain um, maybe uh, uh, every single of them contain 100 transactions. Okay. Every single transaction that uh, happens on these networks, they must be inside one of these blocks. Every single transaction is inserted into these blocks. So let me show you 
how many blocks I see that has been created in the last minute I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, <coughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. 18 blocks of transactions happened on uh, in a single minute. 18 blocks of transactions. All right. Remember, each of these blocks may contain maybe uh, 100 transactions and I see 18 blocks have been made in just a minute 18 blocks of transactions has happened in just a minute all right and I don't even know which is the peak hour if it is the peak hour more blocks of transactions may have happened <coughs> all right so I see 18 blocks of transactions has happened in just a minute all right now let me show you how our exchange works what our exchange does is our exchange is capable of uh, processing uh, even uh, as far as thir uh, 3000 3000 blocks of transactions at a time 3000 blocks of transaction is a very big number uh, this is not uh, um, applied in most cases um, but let me tell you why it's relevant uh, let's assume that your exchange was uh, down for uh, three days okay so in that case your exchange has just fallen behind uh, thousands uh, may have uh, fallen behind thousands of blocks okay uh, your exchange may uh, get fallen behind uh, 10,000 blocks of transactions so um, uh, since your exchange is, uh, has fallen behind it won't be able to find the latest deposits so in that case uh, the exchange uh, if the exchange can uh, scan uh, 3000 blocks at a time it, this is a useful feature now let me tell you how it, uh, it happens in its, uh, on general basis Let's assume we have this number of blocks, maybe uh, 20. Okay, we have 20 blocks of transactions that has happened, and exchange hits the API to receive the data or the information of all these blocks, and exchange receives these blocks of transactions exchange uh, and they starts to scan all these uh, blocks of transactions uh, to look for all the transactions that relate to the addresses that are available inside the exchange let's assume that um, exchange has uh, 20 address exchange has 20 address uh, and um, uh, when uh, new blocks of information uh, have been received exchange uh, attempts to match all those transactions with the addresses user addresses available inside the exchange to uh, search for the new deposits okay so ex exchange is um, scanning new blocks of transactions to search for new deposits now this is the setting that defines how often exchange performs all this is scanning we are at settings general and cron setup and the cron setup is uh, generally set on one minute which means that exchange will hit the network to get new uh, uh, blocks of transactions actions will hit the network to get new blocks of transactions once every minute okay once every minute now uh, I just showed you uh, from BC scan that uh, up to uh, uh, around 20 blocks of transactions uh, happen every minute so uh, your exchange is essentially 
um, scanning 20 blocks of information uh, 20 blocks of transactions every minute uh, to search for the deposits that relate to the addresses available inside the exchange so 20 blocks of transactions every minute <coughs> this will consume this will essentially consume more than 20 requests are uh, uh, we have seen uh, this consumes around um, uh, around 60 requests okay uh, when uh, the exchange is um, uh, exchange is scanning exchange is drawing 20 blocks of transactions from the network using the RPC URL please don't forget that exchange is using the RPC URL to let me show you the RPC URL RPC URL okay this is the RPC URL that we got from getblock.io this is the RPC URL that we got from getblock.io exchange is using this RPC URL to uh, to uh, receive or uh, fetch all the new uh, blocks of transactions every minute so uh, while it attempts to fetch new blocks of information 20 blocks of information uh, takes around 60 requests from this gate block from this gate block RPC URL okay around 60 requests every minute around 60 uh, requests every minute from this gate block now let me tell you where uh, the exchange fails since the exchange is uh, requiring around 60 RPC requests to the blockchain using it block service of course and you I have just showed you just one only one token let's assume that you have 10 tokens uh, and uh, since you have 10 tokens uh, the exchange is using this RPC URL for all of those 10 uh, tokens from maybe 10 different networks so in that case the exchange is um, uh, hitting the network and uh, if uh, one token consumes 60 requests per minute then 10 token consumes 600 requests per minute 600 requests per minute and there are other uh, activities that as, uh, consumes these requests as well so what happens is that these uh, 40,000 uh, requests that get block offer 40,000 requests that get block offer uh, this gets consumed very easily okay uh, not only does this get uh, consumed very easily uh, also what happens is that since the exchange is hitting the network very often uh, several times per second several times per second uh, very easily uh, get blocks uh, blocks access uh, to their RPC URL which means that uh, since uh, the exchange is um, hitting the network a lot and uh, 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 multiple times every second uh, the first thing that happens is uh, you get you consume the uh, 40,000 requests that get blocks give you for free uh, those 40,000 requests gets consumed very easily and um, and since your uh, exchange is hitting the network very often multiple times uh, every second uh, get blocks restricts uh, access to their RPC URL as well so in that case like I said, with free plan, GetBlock will uh, give you limited access. So with that, what will happen is that since your exchange is trying to receive uh, new blocks of transactions every minute, whenever GetBlock restricts the access, uh, th that request fails. Uh, get, uh, uh, when that request fails, your exchange stays idle for that minute and uh, at the next moment your exchange hits the network again but uh, sometimes uh, when get block uh, restricts uh, those uh, access they uh, attempt to they tend to uh, keep uh, restricting 
for several further requests in that case uh, what you will face is that your exchange will fall behind which means that if your exchange is falling behind new deposits won't appear on the user end new deposits won't appear on user end and new deposits won't appear on admin token new deposits won't appear on new deposits new deposits won't appear on admin token pending do token report uh, new deposits won't appear on this screen either why because gateblock is restricting access to their rpc url okay so they're restricting access what do you do then the uh, there are two ways uh, what you can do um, I'll show you or guide you to both first one is you buy the paid plans from gridlock uh, I showed you on previous uh, videos that uh, you can buy their uh, paid plan that uh, costs $29 per month and there is an unlimited plan that costs uh, $499 per month okay now this is about get block I'm talking about okay if you are using um, some other service uh, there is a uh, uh, such services provided by Infura such services provided by Tron grid okay uh, Tron grid provides um, RPC URL for uh, Tron networks and Infura um, provides um, for Ethereum uh, networks and some other ones but all of them have free and paid plans just like gridlock infura and tron grid all of them had free plans and paid plans in the free plans uh, they will restrict access to their rpc url just like gridlock will okay so let me tell you the two both ways how you can get this done the first way is you can buy the premium plans from gridlock okay so uh, I showed you on the previous video you can buy their premium plans when you buy their premium plans they will remove the restriction and your exchange will uh, function a lot smoothly like this unlimited plan uh, if you uh, really uh, uh, end up buying this uh, your exchange will function smoothly all the deposits will appear uh, very fast and uh, all the cycles the cycles are your user comes to this deposit screen they perform the deposit and that deposit appears here that deposit appears on admin token pending token report okay that deposit appears on admin token pending token report within a minute and then you click this accept icon and this token gets transferred to admin's wallet all the process will run smoothly uh, if get block does not restrict your access okay so this is the process when you have a paid plan from get block right so in that case if you do end up buying their paid plan uh, you'll have to you'll have to come here you'll have to come to settings general cron setup okay then you'll have to place one uh, on this field and you'll have to enable this one uh, you'll click on and you'll click update and you have to put one minute here uh, in this case the exchange will hit the network to get the new blocks of transactions once every minute once every minute the exchange will hit the network to get the new blocks of transactions okay uh, and uh, this is a good idea when you have the paid plan from gate block at that case in that case uh, 
uh, with this paid plan, uh, if you enable this cron uh, one um, uh, once every minute, uh, the exchange will run smoothly. Now let's assume that. Uh, let's look at the second scenario. You, d you don't want to buy any paid plan from GetBlock. What happens when you don't want to buy any paid plan from GetBlock? Okay, so we have another solution for that as well. So you you will use the free plan. You will use the free plan from GetBlock the whole month. You will use the free plan. Okay, no paid plan, only the free plan. All right. So you have uh, a free plan. This is good. First thing you will do, you will disable this. You will come to settings, you will go click uh, settings general, then you will click cron, and then you will disable this one. Okay, you will disable all these crons. You will disable all these crons. <coughs> when you disable these crons, this means that exchange will not hit the network by itself. Exchange will not hit the network using that RPC URL by itself. Okay, so exchange is not asking for new blocks of transactions from the network. Since exchange is not hitting the network by itself, the exchange is not using the RPC URL at all. Since the exchange is not RPC URL at all, the users of RPC URL will entirely depend on main made requests okay so we have disabled the cron setup from settings general cron setup and we have set both of these to off okay and click update remember to disable this when you plan to use the free plan from get block okay so exchange is not using the RPC URLs. Uh, Alright. What will happen then? Since the exchange is not using the RPC URL, the automatic deposit will not work at all. Which means that the user made deposits will not come to the exchange by itself. Okay? In that case, what your users will do after performing the deposit Let's assume that your user is trying to deposit this one. Uh, PX, let's assume that PX is a uh, BIP20 token from the Binance mainnet. Let's assume that this is from the Binance mainnet. Your user will come to this deposit screen and deposit this token. Okay? Deposit this token. Then he will go to the check deposit feature. This is the g ingenious feature that we have invented so that you could read, uh, your actions can use less number of RPC requests, RPC URL request. Check deposit feature. This is the feature that we have invented to reduce the number of requests sent using the RPC URL from GetBlock. The check deposit feature. After performing the token deposit to this address your, your users will come to this check deposit they will scroll down just a bit they will come to this check deposit feature they will select the network maybe it is on Binance mainnet they will select the network okay Binance okay then they'll select the coin that is available that the coin they deposited okay and they will enter the transaction id they'll enter the transaction id of their deposit they'll enter the transaction id of the deposit three things they have to do after performing the deposit your users after performing the deposit they will come to this screen they'll select the network they'll select the coin and they'll enter the transaction id of that deposit then they will click submit what this will do this will uh, hit the network only once with the RPC URL and that deposit uh, will be the response of the deposit will be 
received by the exchange as soon as the exchange receives the response the exchange will store the data uh, the deposit uh, data to the database and it will display uh, it will display a notification here uh, a pop-up a pop-up will come here it will uh, that will display all the uh, details about the transactions and that deposit will work instantly which means that after perform, uh, performing this check deposit after entering all the details on these fields and after clicking submit if that user has deposited maybe he has deposited 100 px he'll be able to see that 100 px as soon as he comes to this wallet screen okay as soon as he goes to this wallet screen he'll be able to see the total amount of deposit here right here okay you know to make it easy we also added this check deposit feature here so that after performing deposit let's assume that your user has performed the deposit here your user has deposited a uh, maybe 100 px token okay <coughs> then he can use a check deposit feature from here right on this screen or he can come back here all right and he can click the check deposit from here the check deposit feature is also available here the process is uh, still the same your user will select the network user user will select the coin and user will enter enter the transaction id and then he will click the submit button what this will do this will uh, hit the network only once and get this deposit and store that to the database now let's assume that someone's trying to fraud uh, someone is trying to fraud you let's assume that uh, he has a transaction id uh, of the same token but he did not deposit he did not deposit this one okay in that case this will not work because this address does not uh, belongs to that user the exchange will only get this deposit done only when the related address matches the address of that user okay if this uh, address the deposit address does not match let me show you so user comes to wallet spot search for px okay this is the px wallet click the deposit icon select the network okay <coughs> so this let's assume this is user 2 uh, or user b let's assume this is user b and uh, he has come to the deposit screen of px token and this is the address generated for him so this is the address generated for user b all right so this address is stored inside the database and exchange knows that this is the uh, deposit address or user uh, wallet for um, uh, the px token for user b so then that user b comes here and he has a transaction id uh, of the same coin and the same network but uh, this transaction does not match the address this transaction does not match this address this user address maybe user b is trying to uh, create a fraud maybe he's trying to use the transaction id of someone else to uh, you know uh, performing a uh, perform a deposit fraud okay he found a transaction id of someone else and he copied that and he attempted to paste it here so that he uh, can get the uh, deposit but this will not work because the exchange will check the transaction with the 
address of user B with the deposit address or user address of user B and the exchange will find that this deposit does not belong to user B so this deposit will not work the deposit will only work when this address re uh, related to this transaction is in fact related to the user B when this address is related to user B only when uh, only then this deposit will work okay only then the deposit will work all right but the user uh, has to put the network and the coin name correctly uh, because let's assume that he is uh, trying to um, put a tr transaction ID of a uh, BIP20 uh, deposit but he has selected a Tron network uh, the deposit will not uh, will not work in that case either okay so I have explained how the check deposit work your users after performing the deposit they'll come to uh, the check deposit feature they'll select the network they'll select the coin and they'll enter the transaction ID and they'll click submit this check deposit feature is a must right now because the admin uh, you as the admin you're not using any paid plans from GetBlock, so your users are now dependent on the check deposit feature after performing the deposit they will come to this feature and enter the transaction ID and click submit and that deposit will work instantly your users your user will be able to see his balance uh, instantly okay and uh, at the very moment that amount will also appear on admin token pending token report it will also appear on admin token pending ro token report now remember you are not using the uh, RPC URL uh, the exchange the exchange is not using the RPC URL uh, from get block by itself only when users perform deposit and only when admin is trying to perform transfers only then those uh, transfer requests goes to those RPC URL okay so as soon as your user performs the deposit from here it will appear on his wallet balance and it will also appear on admin token pending token report here and uh, just as I explained on the previous uh, video you'll, you as the admin you will accept this um, deposit from here and this deposit will be transferred to admin's wallet ok so deposit is now get, uh, going to admin's wallet in this process so I have explained both of these scenario to you <coughs> and the first scenario is when you use the unlimited plan okay and you use the unlimited plan and you use the unlimited plan <coughs> from get block from get block and you use unlimited plan or paid plan at that moment you can keep the cron enabled from settings general cron setup you can keep the cron enabled in that case the exchange will look for new deposits by getting new blocks of trans transactions this will, this will consume a lot of uh, uh, requests that are provided by GetBlock this will consume a lot of requests provided by GetBlock so you are gonna need the unlimited plan or the paid plan at least so uh, uh, this is where you you can keep the cron enabled now if you are planning to use the free plan from GetBlock you don't want to use any paid plan or any unlimited plan from GetBlock in that case you uh, the deposit on your exchange is entirely dependent on the check deposit feature your users will uh, your users will perform the deposit as usual and then they will come to check deposit screen then they will select the network then they will select the coin and enter the transaction ID of the deposit and click submit and that deposit work uh, deposit will work instantly your users will be able to see that balance here and <coughs> that 
deposit will also appear on admin token pending token report and uh, as usual admin will have to accept this uh, request to transfer this from user address to admin's wallet all right so these are the two process you need some time to get used to all of these but when you do that it's, uh, this will help you to keep the actions running all right thanks